All right. So, uh, hi everyone. My name is Muhammad Sufyan from Hayamim Ava, Sinan Berhad, and we are actually in Malaysia. So, today, what I want to show to you is that uh, I want to show you about this conference system from Bosch. And uh, I've been getting a lot of inquiries asking about what are the differences between these two uh, series, okay? But before that, maybe I can introduce a bit about this uh, conference system. Okay, number one is we have got this analog version of Bosch conference mic. So this is the series is called CCS 900 and this is the microphone and this microphone comes with short mic and this same microphone can also come with this long version like this for the analog. Okay, so and they have got another version which is the digital version and this is the CCS 1000D digital okay so I will show you in a bit what is the difference between the analog and the uh, digital all right so for digital this is a new look for the CCS 1000 and this is the look of the microphone and this microphone also comes with a long mic or you can opt for the short mic like this okay so for this digital version the control unit comes with two models this is the basic model and we have got another one. This is the Pro version or the CCURD. This one is CU and this one is CURD. So what is the difference? If you can see from the physical look, the CURD, the Pro version comes with a recorder and you can also have this USB slot for you to direct record your audio and you have got this local monitor if, if this is were to actually install in a AV control room the operator inside the AV control room can listen to what is going on in the meeting room okay if you see at the back okay if I turn it to the back this is where the difference ah okay so the difference between 900 and the 1000 series 900 is called analog because there's no network port there's no network port okay that means it cannot communicate with a third party uh, uh, digital device this one here have got a network port the basic unit and also the pro version comes with a network port so what it means by having this network port this control unit will be able to communicate with third party equipments like uh, for example now the most uh, uh, demanding equipment is the camera and uh, the capture card and also the PC for us to do the video conferencing so the network can communicate with the camera the, uh, uh, the network can also communicate with your server the, the network can also communicate with the internet the, it can communicate with just about anything because it's digital and you have got its own IP okay so uh, this is the basic, most basic series for digital for you to integrate with all the other third party equipment. All right. All right. And also, what is the difference between the pro version and the uh, basic version? Both version comes with the network port. Both version can accommodate up to 80 microphone. Each trunk can connect up to 40 microphone. Another trunk, another 40 microphone. So in addition, total you can communicate or you can connect up to 80, okay? Uh, the difference between the basic version and the pro version, you have got additional individual output. For example, it would be very useful in a court room setup where you want to extract out the individual audio of the judge, the plaintiff, the defendant, and also the jury, for example. Where on the other hand, the basic version do not have that, okay? The, but... If you want to capture the overall uh, audio for from all the microphone, both audio one, audio two, audio one, audio two, both uh, models have got the overall audio out. Okay, all right. And also the pro version comes with the acoustic feedback uh, suppression. Means that if let's say when you connect to the microphone, let's say 40 microphones, and if, if you crank up the volume a little bit and you can hear all this humming noise, like in those kind of noise, the pro version can automatically suppress that kind of problems. Alright? On the pro version, you cannot have that. Alright? So now what we can do is that we can show you the actual uh, operation on how this thing works. Alright? 
Okay, so now we're going to show you the application, how this CCS 1000 and CCS 900 works. Alright, so as I mentioned to you, the CCS 1000 can automatically communicate with the uh, camera, the PTZ camera. Alright, where the CCS 900 cannot communicate with the camera or any other third party is because the CCS does not have the network. Therefore, it cannot, be uh, it cannot communicate with uh, other third party. Okay, a simple operation like this will, you can see the difference, alright? Like for example, if I press this microphone here, automatic, the camera will follow me. Alright, then if I off it, it will go to overview. So, if I press this again, it will follow me. Alright, so it's automatic. So, if I press another one, so it will go to the other person. So, if the chairman is pressing, it will go to chairman automatically. So, it's fast and it's so easy and there is no operator needed. Alright? So, for example, if I off, if I off this, it will go back, if nobody press, it will go back to overview. Alright? So, on the other hand, for the CCS 900, it cannot communicate with the camera or any other third party. So, when I press, it will not follow. See? It will not follow the camera. So, if you are having the CCS 900, you can still use the camera but you have to manually zoom it. Like for example, now if I'm active now, okay, I'm going to show you again. If 1000, it will zoom to me automatically. Alright? If it is 900, it will not follow but I have to use a manual zoom. Or oh, I can make it slightly faster. I can do the manual zoom. So if another person is speaking, like for example now chairman is speaking, so I have to I have to manually press this and show to the chairman. And if there's another person press uh, press the mic, want to use the mic, so I have to zoom in again. All right. So you need to have an operator to manage the uh, remote for the camera, and the operator must be focus enough to see who is actually speaking all right so that is a bit troublesome for an operator who are actually supposed to minute the meeting and so on but at the same time they also have to see who is talking and to get the camera to zoom at those person all right so the best way is to use the bosch microphone straight away it will zoom to you automatically so this is the different the main different other than that of course you can communicate through vc and you also you can also integrate with a third party control system like extron atern artona uh, amx crestron and so on all right so uh, so this is pretty much the kind of uh, uh, setup that uh, most of the meeting room will be using all right and if you see one more thing just to highlight a little bit is the camera so we are using this uh, Lumens camera, you can see it's very clear and uh, it's very economical and it can give you three years of warranty and then it's easily available. All right, not only in Malaysia, outside of Malaysia as well. All right, so hope it clarifies all your doubts about CCS 900 and 1000 and uh, hope it benefits your to your organization. All right, thank you. Okay, guys, just to add one more thing about the CCS 1000 Pro version. They have got the AFS, the Acoustic Feedback Suppressor. Okay, what's so special about this is that it can also cut off your humming feedback and noise uh, suppression, all right? Let me show you briefly how it works, all right? And this, I think, will actually help a lot of meeting room uh, setup, all right? Okay, for example now, you can access that function, AFS function, through the web base. How we do it? You can just open your browser, and you can just key in the IP address. In my case, I use uh, 192.168.0.100. can just enter. And this is the main interface of uh, Bosch login. You can just log in admin. In this case, because it's a new set, there's no password required. So you can just log in straight away. So for this pro version, you can straight away go to system setting. You can go to audio. And you can see down here. Acoustic feedback suppression is now being turned off. Okay, so what what happened if you turn off the acoustic feedback? If you press the mic, 
test test mic one two and if you increase the volume you can hear the humming yeah this is what gonna happen most uh, in the meeting room all right so you don't like this kind of humming noise so what happened is that what you can do you can just scroll down you can press natural straight away the pro version have got a built-in processor to process this humming noise or feedback noise and you will cut off all this thing automatically you don't have to have a sound engineer to uh, uh, play around with this uh, uh, control unit all right so if let's say in the setup there's a lot of glass all around the meeting room if the feedback uh, suppressor still cannot uh, cut off that uh, uh, the the noise or the feedback uh, problems you can always go to maximum all right so this is very very useful it's not available in the 900 it's not available in the basic digital version is available in the pro version CURD all right so enjoy your CCS 1000 pro version in the future thank you very much